Hey y'all, what's up? This is I'm here in our YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be about a shooting, a possible terrorist shooting that leaves one person dead and multiple people injured in the Netherlands. Uh, now the shooting happened in a tram in a residential neighborhood. Uh, happened in a central Dutch city of Utrecht. Now, um, number one why I ran this video is because, one, during the shooting in New Zealand, the People in the U.S., a lot of them were saying, you know, it can't happen here, it won't happen here, why are we talking about it, it don't affect us, it will never happen here. Okay, for the people saying that, you know, we might not have had, you know, 50 people die and 80-something people injured, but we have. Have y'all forgotten about the Las Vegas Massacre? Okay, have y'all forgotten about the biggest threat, 9-11, you know? And then not to mention the fact that we have mass shootings, okay? Who do you think did 9-11? And, you know, people might say that it was part of the government conspiracy or whatnot. You know, the government wasn't flying planes, you know? Three terrorists took over the planes, okay? And... A bunch of people lost their lives. You know, I don't even know how many lost their lives during that event, okay? But, you know, to crash a plane into towers just to kill people, uh, to crash into the Pentagon, I don't think that was part of a government operation. You know, and then we also had the people that tried to take over the plane in uh, Pennsylvania, you know? So, for the people saying, you know, it can't happen here, it won't happen here, why are we talking about it, it don't concern us. Obviously, it can happen here because we had 9-11, we had Las Vegas Massacre, and we also have mass shootings that could easily, easily go into high numbers. You know, we have active shooter situations every day. Okay, and as far as it not concerning us, you know, it does concern us. Okay, it might be on the other side of the world, but... You know, it might take just one person to see it, say, we ain't had nothing like that. So they go buy a bunch of guns and ammunition, boom, we're in the same situation. So it does concern us, it does affect us, and it can happen here. So I just wanted to put that out there. Now, second off, a lot of people were saying, you know, they didn't care. Um, saying... You know, stupid stuff, okay? If you don't care, it's because it's your family. And it's your people. Okay? And you can say you don't care all you want, okay? But I bet when it's your family and someone says you don't care, you're going to get mad. Okay? Same thing. Now, uh, number three. You know, people always want to make it about racism. And, you know, that's your right to do that. You have freedom of speech or whatever. But that's not helping the situation. You know, you want to talk about racism this, racism that, uh, gun control this, gun control that, and then you want to blame this person, that person, or blame race on this and that. You know, wh that's not helping anybody. That's making you look bad as a person. And for the people that agree with you, that makes them look bad as a person. You know, that's not helping anything, any cause at all. Now, um, as far as this shooting goes, police are considering terrorism. Uh, the shooter did flee a scene. They believe he fled in a car. They have the whole section there blocked off. Um, they had counter-terrorist officers out there, um, helicopters out there, uh, crisis teams are but expected to meet later today on the situation so when i learn more on this i will bring it to y'all and until then um you know just think about what i said and keep them in your prayers and thank y'all for watching